zero. Thank you. Next up is the consent agenda. <coughs> Dr. Chen. Um, I want to discuss on uh, item B, Tim Rogers. So you're pulling the assignment of relocatable classrooms? Yes, for discussion. Okay. Ms. McCoy. Um, I'd like to pull item C on the MOU with HC, um, C and, and the school system. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And Ms. Ayaz? I'd like to pull item F for questions. Okay. So we have B, C, and F up for grabs. Let us start with B. This is B as in Bravo, the assignment of relocatable classrooms. So question about the, the relocatable, uh, I saw Ham Element School had five portables. I have a, qu a couple questions. Uh, one is uh, how do we use the five portables? Um, do we use it as a classroom? Do we as using it as, uh, you know, some auxiliary space? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's the first question. Yeah. Okay, uh, good afternoon, uh, board members, uh, Chair Barnes. Uh, Tim Rogers, Office of School Planning. We will be, uh, the, the exact use of those units will be up to the, the school to determine, but they've indicated a need for additional classroom space for uh, K through five classes as well as related art spaces. Okay, so I, I know anecdotally I hear they short off space. I think the portable that we can help temporarily. Agree. Uh, but also look at the long-term um, master plan. Mm -hmm. The new element school is a pretty far out. It's almost 10 years. Is it the plan we try to use in five portable even more during now to when we have the new element school in the southeast area? Well, our, our projections indicate that the additional five units should satisfy the, the need and keep the effective utilization within the target range mm -hmm. for Hammond Elementary through the next 10 years. Um, you, you're correct that the next elementary school uh, was indicated in previous feasibility studies as the ultimate solution for future crowding at Hammond Elementary. I um, mean, we'll be reviewing uh, any additional recommendations regarding that in the feasibility study that we'll bring to the board in June. Also, how about the uh, middle school? Because uh, mm -hmm. eventually it will be the new students, then they will, uh, more students, uh, then will be make a middle school, Hammond Middle School also crowded. Right. Do we have a plan to, to do something about too? Right, Hammond Middle School is in a little better situation utilization-wise to start with than Hammond Elementary. Uh, they will be experiencing crowding according to our projections at a, to a lesser degree than the elementary school. Uh, so we'll be reviewing additional portables needed for the middle school as well. Um, but the uh, middle school cap capital project um, recommended in last year's feasibility study for uh, Murray Hill Middle School would be the uh, ultimate solution for um, future crowding at Hammond Middle School. Okay, yeah. I think just, uh, you know, because a lot of development in the North Laurel area, I think it's back to four years ago at the least. Now, we are a lot of surprise into adding that, and uh, hopefully we can find more solutions sooner. I think the Agreed. portable is always not a good option for students, but that there will be a, a lot of conversation. I, I will keep an eye on the item. Thank you. Agree. Mm. Thank you. Next up, uh, Dr. Liu. So I have a question about on the relocatables because I was looking at the table indicating the percentage utilization and the program notes. I saw that for some elementary schools, they are over utilization and there are regional programs. So my question is, is it possible to move some of the regional programs from the overcrowded schools to uh, less crowded schools to balance utilization? That's a good question. It, it is, um, yes, there are schools at the upper edge of the target utilization that also have regional programs, and we discuss regional program locations with the staff that administer those programs on an annual basis. I think that my understanding is that re relocating those programs is kind of a big ask, so anytime that we can accommodate them on site, even if it means portables, is generally preferred. 
Uh, however, uh, like I said, those are reviewed every year, and uh, it's happened in the past where we have um, regional programs have been relocated to uh, schools that have more capacity to support the expansion and further development of those programs. Yeah, so one particular school, Fulton Elementary School, it mm -hmm. says regional program TBD, so it is to be decided, and current utilization is 114.9. So could you clarify what that TBD means? That means that there is already a regional program going to move to somewhere else, or it's going to be a new regional mm -hmm. program moved into Fulton Elementary School? Could you clarify that? Uh, what's happening at, at Fulton is that um, one of the pre-K classes from Cedar Lane will be relocated there, and the TBD is just to indicate we weren't exactly sure at the time of uh, creating this report what the room need would be at Fulton related to the relocation of that program. So we're still sorting out the exact details of the rooms needed for that relocation. Yeah, so that's 114.9% include mm -hmm. the new regional program. Is that included? It, the, any rooms used for that program would be subtracted from the capacity of the building. So, uh, yes. Okay, so the 114.9% already included yes. the new written program. Based on our current knowledge, yes. Yeah, but it hasn't been moved there yet. So if we do not move the written program to Fulton Elementary School, would that reduce the potential overcrowding of Fulton it, Elementary School? Uh, it, it could, but I, I think that the program relocating there is the best option uh, regarding the capacity utilization at Fulton and the, um, the needs of that program. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, because I, I would just purely Understand the concern. utilization. Yeah. Understand. Yeah, thank you. Are there any more questions on this item? Okay, um, Ms. McCoy, then 